Do you wake up every morning wondering what you're going to have for breakfast? Like, what am I going to feed my family today? Yep, no worries. I'm going to share some more easy, simple and quick breakfast recipes with you. And in this episode, I'm going to show you how to make waffles healthy. Yums. Hey, this is Lynette with you. Welcome to my channel. Here we talk about all things relating to health, beauty and lifestyle because I believe that how you live your life and what you put into your body directly impacts how you look and feel. So in this season, I thought I'd share some more breakfast ideas with you. So hopefully you'll be inspired to try them out. I'll have a link to some of these tried and tested recipes on screen and down below for you. So check them out when you can. But right now, I'm going to talk about how to make waffles healthy. Well, you can make waffles healthy by reducing the amount of sugar that goes in there. That's one. Another way to make waffles healthy is to add some liquid sourdough to the mix so it can ferment and that'll definitely increase its digestibility. And then of course, because of that same fermentation process that helps break down harmful phytic acids, you'll have much better access to nutrients and that always helps with mineral absorption. And so with that, let's dive in, shall we? This recipe makes two Belgian waffles or three regular waffles, so feel free to adjust upwards as you see fit, yeah? Okay, so first things first, measure out 35 grams of butter, melt it over low heat and set it aside to cool. Then let's prep the dry ingredients. Here's 70 grams of all-purpose flour. To it, add 6 grams of bamboo charcoal powder, 1 gram of thyme, 3 grams of pink salt, a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder and a separate bowl measure out 96 grams of liquid sourdough or what we call sourdough starter it could be fed it could be sourdough discard both would work just as well to it add 88 grams of ice cold water and 55 grams of milk now if all you have is heavy cream like me you could do a half and half as in half water and half cream so you'll get a milk like consistency then add one egg just make sure that it's at least 50 grams and then add 11 grams of pure maple syrup or agave syrup and then add in the final touch which is the melted butter that we prepped earlier remember Cover and leave it to ferment for at least 4 hours. Sometimes I prep the night before and I leave it in the fridge to ferment and to develop flavour overnight. And here's a great tip. I'm going to turn up my oven to 200 degrees Celsius so that it'll be nice and warm by the time I'm done making these waffles and I can just pop them in to keep warm and maybe even develop a nice crisp about them while I work on the other one and we can eat them all together at once. Now when you're ready to make the waffles, preheat the waffle maker, add batter only when the green light is lit and leave it to cook. The good thing about this vertical waffle maker is that it never makes a mess. You know why? Because it cooks as I'm pouring in the batter. And I usually use the scoop that is provided which is about 200 milliliters, and that usually gives me a nice big Belgium waffle. This usually takes a couple of minutes. When it's done, it'll beep again and the green light will light up. That's when you know it's done. Take it out, pop it in the oven whilst you make the other one. Oh, and by the way, after you're done making the waffle batter, it's a good time to feed your sourdough starter before popping it back into the fridge. Usually at the end of each week, I feed Dorothy 25 grams of water and 25 grams of flour. Stir it up and keep it in the fridge. But because I use quite a bit today, I'm going to feed her 50 grams of water and 50 grams of rye flour. I use a rubber band as a marker so I know how much Dorothy has grown and flourished. And you want to know what's so great about waffles? Waffles are so easy to make and so versatile. You could even have it as a main meal, as in you could add savory fillings to it like so, or you could have it as a dessert with ice cream. And talking about ice cream, I have a growing list of ice cream videos you should check out. In fact, I'm thinking of making cookies and cream ice cream really soon, so if that's something you'd like to get in on, then definitely consider subscribing to my channel and smashing the bell so you'll be notified when that video of a sweet treat is out. In the meantime, you have a beautiful beautiful day.